Hello everybody, welcome to Minecraft Land Party. So we finally got a portal over Barb's place. Barb makes things, it has a portal right here. And let's go check out where it's at. There we go, waiting for the world to load. She has a pretty nice view up here, doesn't she? Meow, kitty cats. Oh, she's got kitty cats. No names yet. And a parrot. Look at that. We got parrots. <laughs> Horse two. Okay, that's kind of an odd name for a parrot. So, Barb did this whole area here with black glass, and it's really a little bit freaky the first time you see it, but it's really cool. It's like sky, and you've got clouds, and they're a multicolored beacon, which appears to be turned off at the moment, but shooting up through storage, the whole thing. More cats. Hey, kitties. These cats have names? Nope. So that's cool. Just snoop through her chest a little bit here. So anyway, that's... Uh, Barb's got a very, very involved complex over here and has uh, spent a lot of time exploring caves down below. Oh, hello. Oops. Uh, a little farm. Oh, that's right. That's her little barn area. Cows, pigs, chickens, sheep. And there's a chicken canoodling with the sheep. I don't know if that's loud, but hey. She's got a lot of eggs. And I risk getting lost down here, but there's caves all over the place. They're really quite extensive, but this is nothing. So, oops. Oh, there we go. This isn't what I wanted to uh, show today. Let's, uh, maybe wondering where all those cats came from. So let's show you. Oh. So here's the atrium area. Let me show you this first. So the clouds up there, the little clouds and the dark sky. It's really cool. Fire pit. More cats. Meow. Ah. Uh, and I hear birds. Not you. Oh, hi, you. <laughs> Are you friends? Yes. Okay, thank you. All right. So let's, uh, let's show you where all the, the cats and the birds came from. If I can remember how to get out. Oh look, an unlabeled hallway. I wonder where this goes. So when 1.12 came out, we weren't sure if existing jungles would be ready to spawn parrots or not. So we found another jungle. It's not too far away. And built a little tunnel out to a portal in the nether out here. We actually have two. And let's go see what this is all about. Chirp, chirp, chirp. These birds tamed of XFX. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Hello, guys. So this is a jungle biome here. And I, I was like, oh, hey, we should just go find a jungle and burn it down. This is a little aviary of untamed birds. Look at that. So you could go tame some. Uh, I, I assume that uh, XFX built this and then, uh, then uh, lured a bunch of them into it. Uh, which is kind of cool. It's a little mountain, the terrain's a little bit hilly around here, so it makes it a little difficult to get in and out. But, you know, he's got a bed over here and a portal. And 
not too far away a couple hundred blocks that way I have another area which is uh, I think a little a little bit easier to deal with and is there wait is there a gate in here I don't think there is what are you doing come on come on ah goodness gracious uh, oh we can do it from over there why would you build this without a gate ah oh okay we'll do this the hard way or the old-fashioned way goodness all right Woo! So over here, not too far away, about 30 blocks in the nether. So, 100 and... Uh, about 100 and 180, 190 blocks away in the overworld is this portal. Ah, oh, look at that. And I've got cats, and i got birds, and an island. So it's protected, it's, it's protected from the zombies and whatnot that can spawn in the jungles there. And I, I not only burned down all the jungle trees on this little island, but I flattened it out. Which makes getting the uh, the various things that spawn here pretty easy. And I replaced all the, the, after I flattened it, I placed all the stone and everything with grass. So basically the grass here is where the jungle biome is on this island makes it super easy we've been burning down trees over there they're a pain in the butt because they don't burn down completely unfortunately but uh, this works uh, I managed to get quite a few animals here and let's see if we can we can get a couple the parrots are relatively easy because you can you can push them uh, you can carry them on your shoulder I I giddy but why a yeah, you go this way they have funny hitboxes. So let me push you into the portal. Let's see if we can get you back, back home. Am I gonna have to get a lead and pull you? Can I push you into the portal? Yep, there we go. And so let's, let's, uh, I've got one of each bird type here. Hey. Don't go visit the birds. There. there you go. You're on my shoulder? Yes, you are. And yeah, let's take you. And you on my shoulder? Yes, I have two birds now. Awesome. So the cool thing is, you can walk through portals with them on your shoulders. And because this is all flat, you don't have to jump to get up to the portal. Which you would have to do normally. as I get through the portal here. Hey, kitty. Okay, world, you can load. There we go. There we go. Kitty, you can follow me now. I saw the birds on my shoulder. Come on, kitty. There we go. Very good. All right, well, we have a little bit of a walk to get back. Let me get these guys back and see what we can do about getting them where I wanted to get them. Okay. Roll call. Kitty. Birdie, birdie. Okay, excellent. Okay, come here, kitty. Okay, so now I'm pretty far below my place where I want to put these guys. Come on, you can come up here, kitty. Will you teleport to me? Let's find out. I can climb the ladder with the birds. And I have a little area that I dug out specifically for all the dogs and birds and bees. No, dogs and cats and birds. Yeah, no bees. Not in this version. So I'm pretty sure the the cat is not following me. Up the ladder. Cat's sitting down there at the bottom of the ladder. But when I get up to the room that I made, hopefully the cat can just teleport to me. Uh, should be not too far, but we will find out. Here it is. <gasps> Here we go. Look at this. Hey, kitty. Whoa, whoa. Hey, kitty, you did teleport. All right, come over here. 
I hear the the parrots imitating the spider. You can you can sit there, and jump, jump. Parrot number one, parrot number two. Awesome. So I made this little area. It's all grass, so the animals feel nice and safe. It's well lit, so there's no, uh, there's nothing, nothing's going to spawn in here. It's maybe a little overlit, but you know, whatever. Uh, and then I can build little things, specific little uh, features for the different animals. And I've got, I've got some dogs and another bird upstairs, and we can bring them down as well. And they should just all be able to teleport to me. So let's see what we can do. Bark. Hello, Sir Pops a lot. Need to name. Oops. Hey. There you go. And I need you to stand up. And you can fly my shoulder if you like. There we go. Okay, guys, let's go downstairs. Uh oh. Birdie came off. Okay, they should all be able to teleport, right? Right? Okay, guys. Come on, teleport. Hi, Birdie. <laughs> That's really cute. Okay. And I built this place, basically dug out on this layer out to the sides of the mountain. I just put glass around so you can have, you have a nice view and you can appreciate the waterfall. You can actually enjoy the waterfall. I'm going to have to do a better job of lighting this little ravine here. Not really a ravine, but you know what I mean. There's a little valley. Cool. So now I just need to get all the, all the animals out. So that's much better than, than what I went through with the... <laughs> sailing out to the jungle and taming a parrot and trying to bring it back on its own uh, didn't turn out so well. So now I have parrots and dogs and I will bring the cats through as well. Wait, kitty cat. So now I got one of each of the domestic tameable animals. Um, I, could, I suppose I could have a horse in here and a donkey. I don't know. But they don't teleport when they, they don't follow you around they don't teleport so they're not quite the same so yeah so that's just that's a quick little video just wanted to show the little the new area i think that's pretty much all that's new i've been pretty busy with other stuff um i have a new villager but i think you've seen that and now this space is a little less cluttered because there are animals sitting all over the place very cool so I think that's it um, just wanted to show that that I did eventually get the animals over here and I made a place for them which is kind of nice similar to Barb's little uh, uh, stable area but it is uh, it's my own and it's sort of built in with the environment so I just need to go get the rest of the animals from over in the village in the uh, the jungle area and once I get them out, I think other things will start to spawn. The, the number of untamed birds that VaxFX has in that little birdhouse might prevent other birds from spawning on the, the little jungle island. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but I don't, need, I don't need a million birds. And once I get one of each, I can, I can spawn. I can breed up a bunch of birds. Uh, yeah. So I think that's it. Uh, that was what I wanted to show so far. But I think that I don't have much else. So anyway, uh, I've been fumbling my way through this outro, but uh, that's all there is, I think. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Oh, actually, there's one more thing. So we're here in the community area, right next to the library. FX FX built surplus center, which is pretty cool. Captain Ca Capsicum. Oh, he's a spicy one. So, donation rules. Let's see what we got here. Boop. Donations are to be left in the chest and you remove from items, blah, blah, blah. So, um, yeah, so basically, built this big area of, hey, look, 
you need some horse armor, you can come here and you can make uh, you can make donations. Like, oh, I think that diamond horse armor is worth X. Whatever. So we got saddles, enchanted bows, because of course uh, you get a ton of these while fishing, and uh, enchanted fishing rods, similar sort of thing. Um, cactus. VexFX has a cactus farm, and that's pretty cool. So, so yeah. Oh, do not <laughs> accept checks from this man. Oh boy, I wonder what he did. Very good. So anyway, I think this looks pretty cool. He's got the flags up, and uh, got some nice decoration. Pretty nice. Let's see if there's any new donations in the library. Oh, yes there are. Oh, goodness. Oh, you know, some of these aren't too bad. Efficiency 4, Sweep Edge 3. <laughs> One or the other. Uh-oh, where's the librarian? Uh-oh. Oh, there. Shh. Okay, very good. Anyway, that's really it. This time, I promise. Thank you for watching Theron's Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Right? Bye.